Hello you cubes of moist cat food under a screaming boy's eyelids. Jim Sterling here and this is Gabe Newell Simulator. It's on early access, it's around about the seven bucks mark, and of bloody course I was gonna play it. Of course I was. How could I not? Let's look at how to play. Okay, that's a very professional looking tutorial screen. I think we already know what kind of ride we're in for. 1 to change weapons, E to pick up weapons and items, I to open the inventory, C to crouch, spacebar to roll, left click to shoot. Okay, I thought it might be a bit more complex than that, silly me. Let's play. Game your simulator, select level 1. Today will be held, is there any sound? I don't hear anything. Today will be held in Los Angeles, the G3, the biggest trade fair in the world regarding video games. You see they chose an E to a G, that was satire. Valve will take part in the event, it will have some important announcement to make. Skip. Okay, here's the sound. So, that's pretty much the end of my talk. I mean, I really am just saying, this is how we think, this is what's motivating our decisions. Okay. Uh, you know, we're kind of, you know, I don't know how to So clearly this got Val's blessing to go up. It's on the storefront and everything. I know some people are like, oh, they'd never allow this, but considering some of the shit they have let go up, like, this is not beneath them at all. Time, Dr. Freeman? Is it really that time again? Right, this isn't really video games yet. Okay, okay. After that, all the biggest companies not to go bankrupt have come together and decided to introduce inside the headquarters of Valve some monsters to stop Gabe and not let him publish Half-Life 3. Jesus Christ. Okay. Um, right. Okay, that's... Yeah. Yeah, looks a bit... I would say looks a bit closer to Robin Williams, um, God rest his soul, than Gabe Newell, but, you know... They've tried. So we're going at a relatively stable 30 frames per second. The uh, mouse cursor, I'm not sure if you can see it, sometimes it doesn't show up when I record, but the mouse cursor is on the screen at all times. And turning is a real fucker. It's, it's, it's really a shame. Okay, I'm gonna try and ignore the mouse cursor because that seems to be causing me trouble. But now I've been to Valve's offices. Okay, I've actually been. I can tell you, they don't look like this. They do not look like this at all. Again, no, no sound for any of this. Oh, wait. Well, we've got a grenade. Uh, that does... Oh, God. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let's get some distance. We can't get some distance. Fair enough. Um... Oh, it's allowed us to... It's acting like we've got a grenade, but we do have zero out of zero grenades. Um, so he's just kind of firing nothing. Okay. So we need a weapon before we can do anything. That looks like another monster. I'm guessing these are all pre-bought assets from somewhere. Okay, we can't... Can't jump over that. We'll run back. Load of team force. Oh my god. This isn't this isn't even funny bad so far. This is just real fucking cack. So where do we get a fucking weapon? I mean apart from obviously the fucking weapon who made this game. <sighs> Level two. <laughs> Maybe there'll be some weapons here. Once it loads. Right. Now just just give us something. Okay, right, now we have a weapon. Good. As we silently move on. Okay, the frame rate has dropped considerably here. We're down to 20. But the gun does make a sound. That's something at least. We got our first kill. So it isn't really a simulator at all. It's a... It's a shitty third-person shooter that... Oh, he's stuck on the floor. Shitty third-person shooter that someone put to the word simulator into to try and make it sell a few more copies. Someone very desperately hoping this becomes memes. 
yep. Look at that. I mean, none of these monsters have any relationship to each other. This is always what I mean by asset flip. You know, this fucking twitching monstrosity doesn't look like it belongs in the same game as that one. And none of them certainly look like this weird... What is wrong with his arm? Gabe Newell's arms all... He's, he's the rag doll from fucking Batman. Okay, so we, we've discovered Gabe Newell's secret supervillain identity at last. Okay, we, there's no going in there. We can't walk through that monster. Fair dues. If we run out of bullets, we're fucked, though. Okay. Right. Incidentally, I don't know if any of you saw, there is a, uh, a Tumblr blog someone set up called Jim Flips the Bird. Jim Flips the Bird dot Tumblr or something like that, in which someone tried to prove that I'm the worst asset flipper of them all. Some total no-name wannabe developer going by the name Xenobite Studios. Uh, I don't believe they have a single game or even evidence of a game in progress to their name. Um, some rumour that it's digital homicide in one of their disguises. We are we are truly trapped behind this bit here. We'll try and we'll try and work work our way out somewhere. There we go. Um, but it's an interesting read. I highly recommend you read it. Um, they seem to think that they certainly don't know what asset flipping is. Um, because I paid an artist, an actual artist, uh, to design my fuck Konami t-shirt with the bird logo. Done up like snake, like big boss. Um, they seem to think that I'm committing gross copyright infringement and theft. Uh, now, obviously, my shirts all go through sharkrobot.com, who... It's their job to obviously make sure they're selling above board material. Now they cleared it. The art is original. It was designed by one of my artists who I pay, uh, who in this case they wish to remain anonymous because, well, they designed a shirt called Fuck Konami. Uh, they'd rather let me take the responsibility for that. I thought there might have been bullets or something we could pick up, but no, it's... What the hell is that? I don't know. Um, but anyway, so so it's, it's art I commissioned and paid for that was originally designed for me. Now, that's not an asset flip. And of course, you know, the artwork was done to parody a logo. So it's, it's parody as well. Um, asset flipping, of course, is when you just buy something someone else made. You didn't even commission it. It's, it, it has nothing to do with your own artistic vision. And you just plonk it into a game. Sight unseen, untweaked. Uh, I mean, that's the big difference between me and an asset flipper is... Oh, Gabe's dead, is that if if Twitter does decide that the shirt is not cool and gets in touch, um, I can pay my talent to redesign the shirt. Unlike these asset-flipping developers who have no talent, figuratively or literally. So, fuck them. I found that funny as well, this whole, ooh, Jim's... I'd hate to be in Jim's shoes when Twitter's lawyers find out about this shirt. Do you, do you have any idea how, how these things work? Like, I've been threatened with lawsuits and I've, I've dealt with copyright things, like, for a lot of my career. The very worst that will happen, the worst case scenario that would happen would be Twitter sends me a cease and desist. Okay? That's the worst that would happen. It's not like they'd suddenly show up with cops and I'd get sued into oblivion. That's not how these things work. I'd get a request to change what I'm doing. And if that were to happen, again, I don't, I don't think it's likely. I think I'm all right. But if it turns out I'm wrong and I have to change it, I'm happy to work with Twitter and change it. But, you know, when you're dealing with these know-nothing developers who are clearly fueled by bitterness at this point... And have no idea. Is this still Valve's office? I have no idea how the fucking law works. You know, they, they seem to think everything ends in some dramatic fucking lawsuit that... What the fuck is this dude now? Again, looks nothing like the other shit. He doesn't belong in this game, man. He mullered the shit out of me. <laughs> you 
yeah, all right. Anyway, I do suggest you read that because it gave me the biggest laugh uh, the other night. I mean, some of these devs, because I'm not going to blame everything on digital homicide. You know, I am done really more or less talking about them after uh, this Monday's Jimquisition. Um, and if they want to correspond with me again, they are going to have to do so through my lawyer for threatening their legal action. Um, I guess we'll try the this for a minute. Okay. Um... But there are a number of developers now who are just so desperate to discredit me, and they will just talk horse shit. And they don't seem to care how stupid they make themselves sound. But anyway, back to this. So there's no sound effects at all for the machete. Speaking of machete, very excited about the Friday the 13th game that's coming out. That, well, coming out that they put on Kickstarter. I mean, at this point, I want to use the gun just so I've got a sense of fucking sound. But yeah, I backed the uh, Friday the 13th Kickstarter. Just because, you know, Jason fucking Voorhees, he's my boy. This really is shit, though. Let's, let's go back to talking about how fucking shite this is. I mean, for Valve to let this go through. I mean, they've put their... They've put a kind of seal of approval on this. Is, is Valve, is this really what you want your name attached to? Is this really what you want people to think when they think of you and Steam? Because I'm sorry, like, I used to think of Steam as this, you know, wonderful storefront, this great, this, this ideal of the digital distribution platform. But now when you say Steam to me, I instantly think of shit like this. Absolute wanking, cocking shit like this. I mean, I don't even care that it's in early access. This is definitely one of those... Oh, my gun's fucked. This is definitely one of those games where you look at it and you know it's not ever going to be good. It's been lazily fucking cobbled together. This is a cheap, desperate attempt to get some fucking... Just to get some meme cred. I mean, you if you go read the description on the storefront, it's all this fucking... Here's your chance for PC Master Race! <laughs> Half-Life 3, huh <laughs> do you remember that? That's a fucking game that hasn't come out, huh <laughs> Fucking pieces of shit. It makes me sick to my stomach. Right, I mean, you get the point. It's, it's really, it's not gonna change, is it? It's not gonna change. Did this even go through Greenlight, or did this just turn up on Early Access? I don't remember ever seeing it on Greenlight. Along with that recent RPG that had uh, come out. What was it? Gaben or something? Made an RPG maker. Maybe at this point Valve just thinks it's funny. Maybe they know what their reputation has become. And they're like, you know what? Let's just own it. Let's just let this shit go up. We'll let our name go, like, be attached to it. Ugh, I can't even get up the... St I'm done. I'm out. This, this is horse shit. Gabe Newell Simulator, everyone. His arm is still fucked up. What's wrong with your arm? I can't believe the game asked, are you sure you want to quit? Never has a less necessary question been asked. 